Okay, so we're going to learn about the centroid of a triangle. In this example here, we've been given triangle and they've actually named it, so let's put those letters up here. They've named this triangle QOP. This is our Q, O, we usually put O for origin, it's a side note, P. And they also want to know that they've called this coordinate at 0, 4, C. They want to know if this is the centroid of the triangle. In other words, you have to verify that. The centroid of a triangle, we have to know two definitions. A, that definition, and you also need to know what a median of a triangle is. Does anyone know what the median of a triangle is? Perfect. Okay. So let's say we're looking for the median of point P. The median has to start at this point and go to the midpoint of the opposite line. So a median would go like this. And I'm just rough handing it. See if that goes to C. A median from Q would go to the middle. This is roughly the middle of the opposite side. And then the median from O, hopefully this is the middle, would cut through here. A centroid is where all three medians would cross each other. Okay? So they would like us to prove this. Now in the book they've gone about talking about a ratio. Okay? But I want to use, instead of that ratio knowledge, I would like to use the knowledge we've already learned uh, when dealing with slope and points of intersection. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're actually going to find the equation of each of the medians. I'm going to color them dis uh, differently. So, in order to find a median of something, let's get rid of this. In order to find a median of something, we need to find a midpoint, okay? So, for median P, I need to find midpoint of O and Q, okay? So, we're going to write these points up here. Point O is at 0 and 0, okay? That's our point O. And our point Q is at 4 and 4 looks like okay so these are our points we're going to use our midpoint formula if you guys remember so midpoint is xm and ym okay. are equal to x2 plus x1 divided by 2. And then the other formula is the exact same thing, just with y coordinates. So y2 plus y1 divided by 2. Okay? So we're going to take these coordinates. We need to call them each 1 and 2. So we'll call this 1 and this one 2. Which in other words means our x2 is 4, our x1 is 0, our y2 is 4, our y1 is 0. So we're going to plug these in. Um, since I did it in green, we're going to carry this one out in green, just so we have an idea. So x2 is 4, plus uh, x1 was 0, divided by 2. And our other one, y2 is 4, plus 0, divided by 2. Yeah, that's a comma. Scroll down a little. Uh, 4 plus 0 is going to be 4. 4 divided by 2 is, okay, and 2. So it looks like the median of this is exactly at 2, 2, where we have drawn it before. So our line or our median will look like this. Now the triangle may not be drawn perfectly, right? This is why my graphing doesn't always work. We're going to verify this using algebra. So that's only one median I've drawn. I still have to find the equation of this median. Can you stop doing that? The equation of this median is what we need to find. Well, we have one coordinate at 2 and 2. And the other coordinate, P, which was at 8 and negative 4. We use those to find our slope. Okay. So let's find our slope here. Uh, remember our slope formula, M is equal to Y2, subtract Y1, divided by X2, subtract X1. Okay, we take these coordinates, uh, we'll call P our 1 and our midpoint M our 2. Okay, so Y2 in this case was actually equal to 2 and 
y1 in this case is equal to negative 4, so we're subtracting negative 4. And this is divided by 2 subtract, I believe it was 8. Yes, 8. 2 subtract negative 4 is like adding, so we get 6 over 2 subtract 8 is negative 6. So we're going to get what? Negative 1 as our slope. Since negative 1 is our slope, our equation being y equals m is negative 1, x plus b. Okay. I then take any one of the coordinates, either that midpoint or 8 and negative 4. In this case, I'm going to take my 8 and negative 4 as our x and y values. So, negative 4 is equal to negative 1 times 8 plus b, which is going to give us negative 4. When I bring negative 8 to the other side, it will be adding is equal to b. b will be equal to 4. So what I've discovered is y equals negative x plus, oh, that didn't turn out right now. Negative x plus 4. That is our first equation. Okay? So our equation for the first <coughs> meeting is that we need to repeat this process two more times, and then we need to find points of intersection between them. Okay? So we're going to pause this for a second. Okay. So we've got one equation. We just move to a clean new page. Uh, that's one median we have. That's the equation of the one we've written in green. The next thing we're going to work with is, we'll do this one in purple, median from Q. Well, in order to find the median from Q, we obviously have to find the midpoint of OP. Point O, we already know, is at 0 and 0. And point P was at 8 and negative 4. Okay? So, we have those two coordinates. We can call this coordinate 1 and this coordinate 2. It doesn't technically matter. We need to find the midpoint. So, instead of rewriting the midpoint, I've already written that formula out once. We're going to say it out loud and plug them in as we go. We'll call this x1, y1, x2, y2. We know we have to add the two x values. So, we have 0 plus 8 divided by 2. And we also have... We have to add the two y values, negative 4 plus 0 divided by 2. That's going to give us 8 over 2, which is 4, and negative 4 over 2, which is negative 2. So our midpoint is at 4, negative 2, exactly where we estimated it would be. Let's put our line up here. So our median... <coughs> <coughs> Looks like it cuts right through there. But again, we need to find the equation of this median. So I have these coordinates. And what I'm going to do with these coordinates, this coordinate being 4 and 2, is I'm going to find the equation of this median here. So again, we need to use our slope formula, m equals, and again, I'm not going to write it out, our y2, we'll just call this coordinate 2 and this coordinate 1, okay? y2 in this case is the value of 2, cause y2, x1. So that's 2, and y1 is our q coordinate. Well, our q coordinate was at 4 and 4. Okay. So we have 2, subtract 4, and x2 being 4, subtract x1 being 4. Now, what you're going to notice here is our slope is going to end up to be negative 2 divided by 0. Well, you can't have a slope where you can't divide a number by 0. So we have an undefined slope, which means this line is what? Anyone know? It's a vertical line. Okay? So we have a vertical line here. So the way we could represent this... You know we have our y equals mx plus b. Okay. Well, in this case, I want you to think about this. Do we have a B value if this is a vertical line? No, there is no B value. You could think of it as almost being zero. And we have an undefined slope. Okay. So the slope's not zero. Zero is a horizontal slope. This is actually an infinite number, you would, they would call it. Okay. So the way we represent this line is we would say X is equal to a value. 
And it turns out our x value is always going to be the value of what number is it going to on the x-axis for. Okay. So our x value is always 4. No matter what our y value is, our x value is always 4. Okay. Which is good because in terms of our coordinate, we know it's at 0 and 4 in this case. Right? So that's another one of the lines we figured out. This is our second equation we solved. And then finally, we're going to find out the third median, and then we're going to find a point of intersection. Okay, in the last one, we did do a lot of extra work finding the slope where we could have been intuitive. In this one, I'm going to show us how we can be intuitive with the last line here. Now, uh, our last median needs to be from O to the middle of QP. So again, we need point Q, which is 4, 4. And we need point P, which is at 8 and 4. Or sorry, 7 and 4. Okay. We'll call this 1 and 2. So that's our x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay. So we got that information here. We're going to find it in our midpoint formula. Again, we're just going to say this out loud. We need to add the two x's, so we get 4 plus 8 divided by 2, and we add the y's, negative 4, whoops, plus 4 divided by 2. That's going to leave us with 12 divided by 2, which is 6, and 0 divided by 2, which is 0. So the midpoint of this line is at 6 and 0. Now, before I go about looking to solve the slope of this, I want you guys to look at this. Where does O start? And where is the midpoint? It's on the same axis. So we have what type of line? A horizontal line. So because we have a horizontal line, we know it's going to go through what x point? Zero. zero. Okay. Remember, the centroid, they'd ask us, we're verifying that it goes to zero and four. Okay. So, well, in this case, even though we do want to find points of intersection, of course, uh, again, this formula here, um, because the y value is always 0, we would have a y is equal to 0. So these would be our three formulas that we've just found. Okay? We can definitely check two of them. y is 0, so that means every x value is going to be on the y-axis 0, which means that works out perfect for this here. And we know that our x equals 4, well that means all of our y values will be when x is 4. So you know those two work out. The only one we really have to test is our first equation. Now, if we'd been given two other equations, we'd actually use substitution or elimination to find a point of intersection. But because these are horizontal and vertical lines, we just check. And we just got to make sure the left side is equal to the right side in this case. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the value of 0 and 4, and we're going to plug it into the original equation. So y is equal to negative x plus 4. Our y value is 4, our x value was 0, and our b was 4. 4 plus 0 is 4. Does the left side equal the right side? Okay, so the centroid is at 0 and 4, and it took us quite a bit of work to figure this all out, if you guys remember. We started centroid of the triangle, got the first equation, then we moved to the second, then we moved to the third and verified the model. Thank you.